No matter what the weather holds tonight, trick-or-treaters in Boston will be flocking to this house and a neighborhood rich in history. Every year, Beacon Hill comes alive on Halloween. It's the place to be, and at this house, they have spared no expense. <laughs> it's so, so cool, yeah. It's the haunted carnival on Lewisburg Square, a multi-million dollar townhouse professionally outfitted where the owners have been decking the place out in Halloween finery for years, much to the delight of neighbors and visitors. We just saw the painting, and it's really beautiful. You know, we don't have this in France. And France isn't the only place missing this extravaganza. I love that everyone is getting so into, like, decorating in the holiday spirit. We don't see this sort of thing in Cincinnati. It's a great place for a photo opportunity, and almost everyone is stopping to have some fun with the Funhouse mirrors. Even these guys in their dog costumes. I didn't expect a mirror to make me so that small, and I was really surprised. It, it looks as a circus, but a very dark one. At night, the display is lit for full effect, and tonight, this carny is going to be busy. This is quintessential New England. Um, I had friends fly in to see this. Now, this is only a guess. We can't be sure. But we're thinking at this house, trick-or-treaters will be getting those full-size candy bars, not the bite-sized. I think it makes it kind of exciting and fun because it's definitely a destination at Halloween. And keeping with the Halloween spirit, the homeowners <laughs> decided to remain mysterious. Ah, but definitely creating a draw in that neighborhood. Beacon Hill is bananas on it, Halloween night. It gets night. a little bit crazy over there, but uh, I think the king-size bar, when you get one, like a full-size bar, that's, I mean, that's the jackpot. It's kind of special. All right, yeah. let's talk about the